You know, I couldn't let the week end without addressing what happened on The View this week. All of you saw it, and most of you probably heard both my and Whoopi's version of what you didn't see after I was thrown off the set. Now, I'm not here to rehash old news, and in the spirit of tonight's opening statement, I'd like to close the book on this and move on, and I'd like you to do so as well. Some of you may not know that I've known Whoopi Goldberg for years, and our relationship up until this week has always been friendly. Furthermore, I've been a guest on The View many times before Thursday's appearance and was always treated with respect. To you, the viewer, I invite you to go online and watch the entire segment and make your own judgment about how I conducted myself and how I was treated. And to Whoopi, I accept that you and I have different versions of what happened on Thursday, both on and off the air, and that we have completely different takes on President Trump and the job he's doing. So let's agree to disagree and put this episode to bed for once and for all. And thanks for taking time out of your uh, 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 comments on Friday to pay me a compliment. Janine, good luck with your book. I hear it's number one. I preferred your last book about Robert Durst, but there's no counting for taste, you know? I like the book. I like the last book. Thanks, Whoopi. And may I say, I preferred you in the movie Ghost much more than I do on The View. But then again... We're all entitled to our opinions.